All right, ready? Yeah. I'm not yeah. not ready, but like, can because obviously we don't prep. No, I'm not ready. I don't even know. Like, this is so dumb. Why would I even take time to pay attention to it? This is actually the introduction to the Drive to School podcast. I am Pastor Goodman, and joining me today is Pastor Eli Lietzow. Uh Pastor Lietzow invited uh, himself on this podcast uh, with the title Popery. That that's his that's his uh, subject matter expertise. And I thought that that was uh, like things that the Pope was doing, but yeah. I found out it's not. No, and Popery means that there's no uh, you can't be an expert in uh, Popery. Uh, that's the I whole mean, idea of Popery. Unless it's uh, like things that the Pope is doing. You well, can be in it. Yeah, I guess, but that's not what this is about. And and, and unless it's actually, you're actually a, uh, a manufacturer of actual potpourri. Nobody uses potpourri anymore. It's, it, so kids, back in the, the late 1900s, uh, what you would do if you wanted your bathroom to smell good is you would put dead plants in there and a cinnamon stick. And a cinnamon stick, exactly. And your and your grandparents still may have potpourri instead of uh, instead of those Yankee candles um, in their uh, in their bathrooms, right? Um, but potpourri uh, is actually from the game show Jeopardy, uh, and instead of there actually being a uh, a set theme in the five six questions, uh, it's just a grab bag. It's whatever. It could be about anything. It could be about giraffes, or it could be about I don't know. Nah going to be about not, giraffes or not giraffes right right no but who's picking do i get a pick or do you pick no i see i uh i, I think i'm on the game show jeopardy uh, oh so i get to pick so yeah you're just throwing potpourri at me all right well i'm gonna throw no. potpourri at your face the word of the day uh the, the daily jeopardy do- i don't watch this show The word that we're going to talk about is multiverse, because I'm going to go see a movie tonight called The Multiverse of Madness. And I want to talk about the the multiverse because it's it's become such a... um, Open again? What? Are movie theaters open again? Movie theaters are open again. Are they? (laughs) Antisocial. Okay, I didn't know. I thought thought they were open now. At least here, we can go to the movies. Um, And and I'm going to go and see The Multiverse of Madness. Um, And it's, it's... an interesting thing that's all over everywhere lately because I, I think it gives us a chance to have a God without rules as a culture. Like, right, you're so, going to have to explain what the multiverse is. So the multiverse is the idea that there are an infinite number of universes where each one has just like one thing different. So there is a universe somewhere where you have hair. There is a universe somewhere where uh, you are nice. There is a universe somewhere where I am smart. Um, All of these things exist. And and because there are an infinite number, literally anything can be. You just sort of have to find the right universe. And it's- Hold on, hold on. So so this this sounds like uh, it's coming from either uh, two places. One, you've got super duper smart PhD physicists who kind of uh, understand the God gene or the string theory or all of this sort of stuff. Um, and, then, and, and then you've got a, and then you got a bunch of uh, people who uh, pretend to understand it and then are, uh, yeah, and then are, and then are playing off of that saying, oh yeah, I'm really smart. And then the other side of it uh, is you got a bunch of people uh, who uh, just make fun of this stuff and like make movies or make TV shows uh, about uh, these multiverses. And then you can have the evil, uh, the evil Goodman and, and the like and all that sort of stuff, right? What if I am the evil Goodman? Well, you could be the evil Goodman, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. This, this might be the darkest timeline. Um, I, think it, I think it is. This is yeah. a bad one. It's been rough. Um, <laughs> but the thing about it, if there's a million universes, all or a billion, an infinite number of universes all doing infinite numbers of things, well, then I can sort of grab hold of uh, improbable things and say, well, no, this just happens to be the universe that happens. And don't worry about the fact that it seems like a ridiculous claim. Uh, so I, I can grab hold of something like, what it would take to turn inorganic matter into organic matter, like creation, um, and say, well, why would you need a God if you have a bajillion universes? Of course it can make sense. It's okay. This just sounds dumb. Uh, 
I mean, again, in, unless unless you're a, a PhD physicist that that is actually wrapping their mind around all of this sort of stuff, this I'm sorry, I'm just this sounds like a uh, very um, uneducated way uh, to uh, to present an idea of I can do whatever I want. Now, hey, hey, uh, I was listening to the Dax Shepard podcast, uh, you know, the dude from Without a Paddle, um, and I think he was in Scream. Um, reference from Without a Paddle? Yeah, that's what I remember him from. Uh, the classic film. Uh, um, he was also on, uh, what was that, uh, uh, what was that, on MTV, uh, 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 Punked. Oh, he, he was. was. Punked. Yeah. yeah. You remember him from Punked. That's not better. That's worse. This is the darkest timeline. This is the worst universe. Um, <laughs> but he, he, he's uh, he, not militant atheist, but ardent atheist. And okay. he, he talks about the, the multiverse uh, not infrequently. Um, it, it's, it's almost sort of become a way to um, do the thing that we used to get accused of. Like, I don't understand how thunder works. So God is mad. That's that sound. You, you, the sound you heard is making God mad. So stop. Um, and you just sort of add in this word to explain the thing you don't understand. And now we can just do it with multiverse. It's way simpler, way less rules, right? I guess, it's, again, it just sounds silly to me. Like what, what is the end game for, uh, uh, and, and there's another Marvel, Marvel uh, uh, movie title for you, right? Um, yeah. Really. Uh, what's, what is the end game for people who are, are, are uh, throwing around this uh, multiverse thing? Is it, is it uh, a, just a license to, to do whatever? A license to explain away eighteen things that they can't understand. What what is what's the end game? So the end game is obviously um, snapping you out of existence by wearing a fancy pewter bronze gold glove with shiny things in it. Or honestly, most of the time I do hear it. It, it sort of does seem to be as an explanation to something we can't explain. Um. Okay which I was told I'm not allowed to say God for, but you're allowed to say multiverse for. So this, okay. So what you're saying is this is, uh, this is the new atheist way of replacing God with something. It, it kind of gives me that vibe. Um, and so what's the problem with it? If, if I can just have a bajillion universes, other than the fact that this is clearly the worst of them. <laughs> Well, are we talking from from the the church's perspective, or from the secular perspective, or yes, do both. What? Right now, popery, popery oh. for me. Well, what's wrong with it from from the secularist perspective? Uh, you could even make this. I think I think this is the one of the issues is there. If there's a billion different universes, then the one you're in doesn't matter. The one you're in isn't intrinsically the best, or as we're calling this, the darkest timeline. How can it intrinsically be the worst? How can it intrinsically be the darkest, right? If we don't actually have an absolute standard, if we've got a billion different um, relative standards, um, then there's real no, really no way to actually put in any sort of absolutes. There's really no way of actually saying this is of good and this is of evil. Um, it's just, uh, no, it's all subjective and, and relative. In this universe, we're, we've collectively decided uh, that murder is bad, but maybe in another universe, um, it could be good. Um, that's, that sounds awful. And that's, again, that's doing away with absolutes. Um, and when you do away with absolutes, then that's really just a way to justify your sin. You don't need to justify your sin. You have Jesus who justifies sinners. Well, yeah. Duh. <laughs> but, but the atheist needs to, right? Okay. I mean, okay. the atheist who rejects Christ, uh, inevitably at the end of the day, the conscience is burdened. That's what our Lord tells us, right? That his law is, is written on all of our hearts. So the conscience certainly is burdened, uh, whether or not you believe in God or not. That's, that's, that's a thing that just tugs at you when you know that you're doing evil. Um, you've still got to deal with that conscience you've got to deal with that tugging that hey this is wrong this is evil um so you've got to find a way to justify yourself well it sounds to me as if the multiverse is a decent way i mean it's a pathetic way but it's a, it's a decent way to to attempt 
to uh, uh, to justify oneself. I don't know. Am I am I uh, going way off base? I still don't know what the multiverse is. So I'm just I'm just rambling as I go here. You know, you're doing pretty good. I think it, I'm I'm tracking with it. Um, maybe uh, uh, one of the PhDs who actually understands what it would be will will uh, get in a comment section uh, and tell us why we're wrong, and then we'll have a third viewer, and that'd be great. But um, no, this isn't this isn't the, the uncultured saints. Oh, people are gonna watch this. Well, I think more people watch this than the uncultured saints. Well, that's not setting the bar terribly high. Um, I'm not on every episode. Unfortunately, you are, but. <laughs> that's, why thumb, over. that's why the thumbnails are always of uh, your guests and not of you 100 percent. right it reels them in and then they're like oh no they got me again goodman guys on here this is the this is the darkest timeline oh. Oh. <laughs> i guess that's the multiverse and now i'm sad and self-conscious so we're out <laughs>